the business environment has experienced a lot of changes over the last couple of years. And um, predominantly the cause for these changes is the um, rapid advancement in technology. As such, um, business as usual is no more. Um, the way business is done nowadays has changed dramatically and this has got a great impact on managers because they are constantly being um, pushed in the sphere of the unknown. So I believe given this, managers are faced with a great challenge for developing their self-leadership, predominantly changing their paradigms in, in thinking, um, being more systematic in thinking um, as this impacts on the approach that they take in making decisions, in resolving conflicts of all sorts. Uh, the second challenge is the leadership of others. Uh, you know, casting that compelling vision for others to follow. I believe it's a great challenge. And then also with that comes the responsibility of engaging employees so that they are motivated enough to ensure that this vision that has been cast is realized and that they are um, enthused and that they are committed towards um, realizing this vision. The third challenge, I believe, is the management of resources, whether it be human, whether it be financial or knowledge, because these are the factors that um, are important for, for businesses to, um, to carry out their operations. And as such, uh, managers need to ensure that they, their internal processes are aligned to global trends and to industry developments um, in order for them to, to stay abreast of the, the game. Uh, fourthly, I believe um, another challenge that is faced is the customer satisfaction. Um, today's customer is well-versed. They are knowledgeable. They've got knowledge and information at the tip of their fingers because of the change in technology or the advancement in technology. And as such, it becomes very uh, challenging to you know, try and meet the needs and demands of these customers that are benchmarked against the best of this world. So I believe that these are the challenges that the Namibian manager faces to play against the best and to still make business a success. The graduate school's um, executive education programs covers three distinct capability types, namely business acumen, ensuring that uh, participants get good foundation for business, the knowledge. Uh, secondly, it is performance management, ensuring that they are actually able to perform uh, very well within the organizations. And thirdly, um, it is organizational culture, taking whatever has been taught and the experiences and the knowledge shared into the organizations and, and, and trying to um, impart the same culture within the organizations. Well, the good thing about executive education at the graduate school is that it is short term in nature, which really is a great advantage for executives and business leaders because they don't have to uh, take a lot of time off their work. Um, they can come in for two or three days or four days and really receive impactful information and go back and apply it within their organization. So that is really the way we have structured the executive education. It is very practical. Uh, obviously, in any academic institution, um, theory is the underlying foundation for our teaching and learning. However, through case studies, through discussions, through group work, this theory comes to life um, in order to help the business leaders apply it within their businesses so that it doesn't just remain theory, um, you know, but it, it can become practical and it can help them in achieving their, their goals.